you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time sourcing for you the finest, most topical carbon news steel, carefully forging it at between 780 and 830 degrees, then quenching, kilning, and hand hammering it into shape and pairing it with a sleek rosewood handle and water buffalo horn ferrule before honing the single bevel on a 6,000 grit whetstone to create for you the fine Kikuichi Yanagi blade that is my monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, when I'm on the run from my underground ostrich smuggling ring and high on bath salts and wallpaper glue, I scrape an old rail spike against a cinder block till it's just sharp enough to feel dress roadkill, make a handle out of a used shop towel held on with discarded tennis racket tape. Also, I can conceal in my sleeve the rusty drifter shiv of news that is my segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. Recently in New Mexico, a man returned from shopping and found 15,000 bees in his car. His car? I think at that point it's the bees' car. Apparently the shopper placed his groceries in his vehicle and started to drive off before noticing the swarm in the back seat prompting car makers to add a new dashboard warning, check engine and also your backseat for 15,000 bees. Quarantine while. In sad tech news, Yahoo Answers will be shut down forever on May 4th. So now if you want accurate information, you'll have to continue looking anywhere other than Yahoo Answers. Now for those of you who don't know, Yahoo Answers was a forum where the incompetent could ask questions of the uninformed. But now it's gone. This is a huge loss. Now how will people get answers to important actual questions like, how is Babby formed? For your information, they need to do way in stain, mother. It was on the news this morning. You know what? Maybe just ask Jeeves. Quarantine while. A massive trove of hacked data from more than 500 million Facebook users was made accessible on Saturday, but Facebook assured users that this is old data that was previously reported on in 2019. Quick tip here, uh, Facebook. Don't worry, we already leaked your data. It's not a great defense. It's like your babysitter going, hey, I didn't lose your kids. I never knew where they were to begin with. Quarantine while. University of Illinois gymnast Evan Manavong recently got creative with his vault. Check it out. Ninth nationally, the sophomore from Kansas City, top score of 14.75 against the Buckeyes. Same vault as Diab. Oh, and he sticks a landing. Not sure what that is. I think it's vaccine. Vaccine card. <laughs> Boom, kiss my AstraZeneca. That's a very cool way to raise awareness about vaccination because it really makes it seem like the vaccine is the reason he could do that which is why the FDA wants all doses to come with the new label. Side effects may include fever, body aches, and nailing a Kazamatsu one and a half. Quarantine well. In Colorado, a scientist taught AI to generate pickup lines using a language model known as GPT-3 to create a squad of courtship bots. Because nothing says romance like squad of courtship bots. <laughs> Who could forget Shakespeare's famous line, Oh, Romeo, Romeo, please fill out this CAPTCHA. Click all the boxes with traffic lights. So how good are these bot-generated come-ons? Buckle up and prepare to be swept off your bipedal actuators as I treat you to these real AI pickup lines. I'm losing my voice from all the screaming your hotness is causing me to do. You look like Jesus if he were a butler at a Russian mansion. My name is a complicated combination of 45 degrees of forward motion, 25 degrees of leftward drift, 75 degrees of upward acceleration and infinity, and that is the point where my love for you stops. Can I see your parts list? It is urgent that you become a professional athlete. 2017 Rugboat Two-Tone Necktie Shirt. <laughs> you look like a thing and I love you. Hey. 
My name is John Smith. Will you sit on my bread box while I cook, or is there some kind of speed limit on that thing? And my favorite pickup line of all time. Stick around. My guest is Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Ronan Farrow, and no, there is no speed limit on that thing. <laughs>